Hey, Anita. Hey, JJ. The uh, Trump administration decided to stop funding PBS, the National Endowment for the Arts, the National Endowment for the Humanities. The humanities. How do you feel about this particular issue? Well, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm telling you, you're not gonna like my answer. Um, I'm not really that concerned about it because back in the day when these things were developed, you had three networks, ABC, CBS, and NBC, and um, no educational or really much creative television at all. It was really the, uh, the great wasteland. And um, the idea behind PBS was to bring educational and alternative programming to the air and so it had a purpose then but its day is gone i mean you can find stations that are solely educational you can um, go to the library and read a book or you look any place on the internet there's all kinds of choices out there that that we have now I always had issues with um, the endowment for the arts and humanities because it it chooses based on what their personal opinion is of what's valuable and what's worth saving and sharing. And I remember one of the things that was. Um, a, a crucifix in a, a cup of urine and I really I thought really my tax dollars are, are paying for this I'm sorry I really don't feel like spending my tax dollars on on supporting somebody who did that it's not art to me um, I'm cranky about art people always get annoyed because I hate Salvador Dali and I has a nice mustache though <laughs> I don't even like his mustache. I've seen better. <laughs> <laughs> With great mustache comes great responsibility. And I just, um, you know, who gets chosen? Who gets chosen? I can understand Japan had a, a system where they preserved people who, who did old arts like quilting or rice paper making or origami but here it's just at the discretion of whoever is handing out the money and I don't really see that as as a necessary thing to be honest there's many many artists in this country many writers actors singers etc who aren't sponsored by either of those Oh, organizations they're they're sponsored by their hard work or they get a patron or they get a grant but you know that's that there's lots of starving artists I, I would know? say I would say if you look back in history okay uh -huh. like for instance the WPA under the uh, in the New Deal the Roosevelt right. administration they got a lot of good research work done in libraries all across the country. A lot of stuff, right. you know, by funding historians or putting historians on the payroll or whatever. But right now you look at who funds NPR, for instance, yes. just to name one. The, the Walton family and foundation. And you look at what they do and they, they, they're no longer really the cutting edge. fulfilling their mission. No, yeah. they aren't. Yeah. And so I just think that, <clears throat> like everything, maybe it's time has come, you know? Maybe it's time to bring our progressivisms to other issues. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>